Well, good morning, y'all. Happy Vlogmas. I've done it. I have gotten myself sick. I've apparently got a cold or some sort of a sinus infection. I don't know what's going on. Can you, you can hear it, right? Like I cannot get any air through my nose and my ears are completely 100% clogged up. This is no good, but Vlogmas continues, right? Life goes on. Today, I had planned to get dressed, go out. I have lots of things I need to do. I've got errands. I've got things I need to buy for Christmas. Like, I'm starting to get a little bit panicky, but I think, oh, hear my vacuum. <laughs> she, I had to run out. Shelly was vacuuming the house. When I came home, I sent her home, and now she's got to empty her bin. The dogs are out peeing super quick. This is my setup at the moment to keep the dogs off of my couch. But what I was saying, I think I'm feeling a sense of panic because I am sick, and it is messing with my head. I'm not thinking super clearly. I was going to run out today. I do have errands, but I think I'm just going to take a shower, stay home, Get myself cleaned up. I think that might make me feel better. I'm going to use some nose spray. I have editing to do because, you know, there's all these videos. I have things, just things. Look at this. Maxie, you are not supposed to be in my chair, dude. I've got my couch totally blocked off. Yesterday, he jumped up on this pillow because he couldn't get up there because the cups. And now look at him. You have an entire dog bed to lay in. Why are you in my chair? I think I've decided I am gonna stay home today. I don't feel like going out. I feel this well, no energy. So I use some nose spray. I can finally get some air in my nose, but I'm gonna stay home and work. I'm washing the sheets. I'm gonna cook dinner and all the things. I'm gonna show you all my little stash of stuff. This is where I'm putting all of my packages that arrive. I've got to start wrapping gifts. That's one thing I was going to do today was go out and get wrapping paper, but it's just going to have to hold. And this pile is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I need to get some of this under the tree. So I've gotten myself totally distracted. I'm sitting here working on thumbnails for Vlogmas videos. I either want every thumbnail to have my personal Vlogmas kind of logo that I created on it and say, Vlogmas day one, Vlogmas day two, or do I want it to be just a regular old thumbnail that looks different for every video? I kind of love the Vlogmas idea, but I don't know. What do you all think? I would love to hear your comments below. Obviously, by the time you're seeing this video, you know what I'm doing. Here's the options. This is what it looks like. I can do words and tell you what the video is about, or I can say Vlogmas day one. Words or Vlogmas Day 2. See where it gets a little wonky when I try to put that one on there? I want you all to be able to look at my channel and see, oh, well, I watched Day 1 and 2, but I missed Day 3. I need to go back and watch that. And, I, and my fear is if I don't put the Vlogmas logo on the thumbnail, you're not going to know what you watched and what you didn't. So I think, I think I'm going to go with it. So I decided to <laughs> jump in the shower super quick. Oh my gosh, the shower did wonders. I feel so much better. I stood in there in the steam. I washed my hair. I shaved my legs. I shaved under my arms. Even though I'm probably not going to leave the house today, I just thought if I could just clean myself up, it would give me a little pep in my step. And I, I think it did. I really do think it did. So I'm going to get dressed and then we're going to proceed on with the day. Who knows? We might go out. So I absolutely do feel better since I took a shower and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put on some makeup. I'm going to get dressed either way, whether I stay in or go out, and I think it'll just make me feel better. But I've been sick for a couple days now, and I've been taking Sudafeds and nasal spray and all kinds of, like, NyQuil, and that always dries my skin out. I can already see just from putting on makeup that my skin is super dry. I hate that about being cold because it seems like it takes forever for my skin to get back to normal. I did get dressed yesterday. Not, you know, I didn't wash my hair or anything, but it, it did instantly make me feel better. If you all are wondering what I'm doing, I'm putting on my cream blush. I kind of pat it in like this. And this stuff is so good. It is Tower 28. This color is called Office Hours. 
and it makes me feel and look like I just have an inner glow, not like there's blush sitting on my skin. And I'll kind of blend it in here in a minute with the rest of my stuff and show you what it looks like. On Cyber Monday, Hourglass, which is one of my favorite brands, I use their foundation and their cream eyeshadow and their lip gloss. They were having a 20% off site-wide sale. So I ordered a whole bunch of like everything, things I was running out of, things I might wanted to try. So I'm excited for that to come in. I'm sweating so hot. I've got my little fan running in here because I stayed in the shower for so long and got the bathroom all steamed up and then drying my hair burning up, literally burning up. Oh my. So here's the dilemma. I have a couple dinners that I'm going to make this week and one of them takes a couple hours. It's I'm doing a roast in the oven in a Dutch oven so I have to be home. So if I go out and do errands, I have to make pasta that night. If I stay home, I can make roast. And my dad's coming over for dinner on either night and I'm trying to decide what to do so that I can let him know because he likes to know what he's up for. He likes to get his palate going and be prepared for dinner. I'm gonna finish getting dressed, eat a little lunch, and then I have to make a decision. So, turns out I don't wanna go out. I don't feel like it. It's already 1.15. I have not even had lunch. I've been on the phone with my daughter and just doing things around the house, washing the sheets. I got a wild hair and decided to wash the mattress pad. I've washed all my delicate clothes. Uh-oh. Okay, so big gooey grilled cheese and a bowl of cream of tomato soup. It's what I always used to eat when I was little. That's just my comfort food. It's freezing cold outside and I don't feel good. So this is what I'm having for lunch and I'm staying home. I'm gonna make my roast for dinner. I've made a decision y'all, I'm staying home to work. I need to do some housework, some computer work. And this is what is going to make me feel better. I love to dip the grilled cheese in the tomato soup. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is what I needed. I'm turning the corner, this is, this is good. I'm gonna have a couple of my favorite chocolate covered espresso beans that I keep right here in my little candy jar in my kitchen. And then I've got to get to work. Pollux. Would you like to say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Pollock says hi. And the movie too. Come here, guys. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi to the boo. And hi to Pollux. Mm -hmm. Yeah, espresso bean. Mama had an espresso bean. And now that I'm dressed and ready to go out, and I'm not going out, I dressed for the 32 degree weather outside because I was going to be running errands in and out of my car. Now that I'm staying home, I cannot keep this outfit on. I'm already hot. Just being in the kitchen doing nothing. I got to come out of this sweatshirt and leggings, put on something a little bit more suited to be in the house and doing work.
so it's probably a good thing that I decided to stay home because it's 3.30 and I started to feel not great. If I had been out running errands, I would have had to have come home. But I'm making a roast for dinner. This was my plan. I've already bought this big roast. My dad is expecting dinner, so I'm gonna get this going. I just took another round of medicine, Sudafeds. I took some Advil this time because my head is really starting to hurt. But I just wanna get this in the oven and then I think I just might lay on the couch for a little while. But I've got my cream of mushroom soup, my Lipton onion soup mix. Y'all know how to do a roast, right? You just season it up with salt and pepper, put a little oil in a Dutch oven, and then cover your roast in flour. And we're just gonna brown the flour really quickly on the stove top, and then you just put it in the oven. And the flour that you put on your roast will make the, um, you know, the, the everything that the roast sits in, it will make it good and thick and creamy. We're gonna sear the edges all around really good. And then I mixed up my soup and all my seasonings and I'm gonna add it to my roast. Put her in the oven for about three hours. Ooh. Okay. Woo. So our mail lady just showed up. I got three packages delivered. I ordered so much stuff on the holiday weekend, like Black Friday through Cyber Monday, I honestly cannot keep it all straight. And just trying to keep track of everything is a whole something. But let's see what I got. Oh, yes. My new magnesium supplements. I'm trying a new brand. I'm going with this one. I'll let you know how it works. And my dad has Apple TV and this is a skin for his Apple TV remote because if you have Apple TV, you know the remote sucks. And this is just like a little, I'll show you. It's like a little rubbery skin that fits over the remote and I'll give this to dad when he comes over for dinner tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, Blake, if you're watching this video, stop right here. So Blake is going, well, my daughter, Blake and Brecken, are going to Mexico with us this winter. And for Christmas, I got Blake some new swim trunks. Actually, two new pairs of swim trunks. And this is one of them. Woo-wee! Okay. Oh my gosh, these are the shoes that I have been waiting for forever. So y'all, I've been trying to find new chunky loafers to wear with jeans. I went in to get my hair done like, I don't know, forever ago and my hairdresser had on the cutest loafers. I came home, ordered them, waited two weeks for them, showed up, too big, huge. Ordered a half a size down, waited, Two more weeks showed up. They just did not, they hurt my feet. I wore them around the house for two days trying to 
get my feet to adjust to them because I wanted to wear them so bad. I loved these loafers. They just did not fit me right. They were so uncomfortable, so I sent them back. And I found another pair that I really liked, ordered them too big, sent them back, ordered a half size down. Here they are. Oh my gosh, finally the six and a half. These better work because I am so frustrated trying to find loafers. And I want like sort of flats, but I want them to have a good chunky soft heel on them, not a clunk, clunk, clunk loafer. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Here they are. See, they have that rubbery sole on them. These came in lots of colors, and if I love them, I want to get them in black too, but this is a color called taupe. Oh my. Okay. Let's see. Please, please, please. Oh, I think they're still too big. <sighs> they are. They're too big. I am normally a size seven, period. Like, size seven. I don't, I, it's, oh, it's why it's so frustrating to order shoes online. Unless you just order like four sizes and spend the money and then just send back what doesn't work. Yeah, they're too big. Oh my gosh, they're just slipping all over my heel. But I, I think another half size down would be perfect. Well, let me show them to you. So here they are. Cute, cute. I love them. They're soft. I love the color. I love the rubber sole here. But they are, too, look, they're too big. And this is a six and a half. I really, really need a seven. Totally didn't mean that. I really, really need a six. I see, I don't think clearly when I'm sick. So, let me see how long it's freaking going to take to get a size six here. Sold out. Size six is sold out. But look how cute. I love the sole being chunky but rubbery. Mm. <laughs> and UPS just brought another package. Okay. Oh, Pox. Pox. I think that one is to you, buddy. I think it is. Look at your tail go, bud. This is Pollux's dog bed. Woohoo! So the roast is in. Randy's getting a haircut. My dad won't be here for another hour, so I think I'm going to hang out right here on the couch and just try to recoup and feel better. So I know my night is going to look like dinner, and then I'm going to be right back here until bedtime. I've been taking NyQuil um, when I go to sleep, and I've slept just fine, even though I've been sick for the past couple days. So I'm fingers crossed that happens again tonight, because there is nothing worse than being sick and not getting a good night's sleep. But I just, I need to turn the corner on this and feel better, because I have so many things to do tomorrow. I have a to-do list forever on my phone of places I need to go. And after I looked at those shoes on Amazon some more, I did a Google search and found that they are sold at Shoe Carnival, although my Shoe Carnival doesn't carry them. I went on and ordered the five and a half in the tote. They didn't have the six. I'm still gonna go to Shoe Carnival. I'm gonna look. Don't know that I trust the website that it's accurate. Um, and I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. So, I'm going to chill right here. Boys, you want to come get on the couch with me? Maxie, Pollux, you want to get on the couch with me? Come on, bud. Come on. Get up here with me. Come on. Okay. Let's just chill out for a little bit, Mooey, by the fire. See you tomorrow.